boop, boop, back again for another episode of 876 Stream on track. Could we make it to Gibson because... And then, could we make it to the character trials because I was sick like a... But nevertheless, back again for another episode. And today we're at the GC Foster Classics. It's a hot day. And we're going to be here from now right by about 8.30 where we'll see a few senior athletes Johnny versus Tia, Clayton, Tina, Clayton, oh, oh. KJ and Golson, just to name a few I'm telling you, it's going to be a long day Some people are racing but they're not, they're not doing it good Oh, so them, them are race but they're not fast Them slow I know how it go But on a more solemn note This is our first episode since the passing of the late great Hubert Lawrence a national treasure, a great asset to this lovely sport that we all love, track and field. Rest in peace, legend, and condolences to his family from the 876 Dream Team family. Eight seven six stream. So Travis, sixty seven eight today, better in your sixty seven five earlier this season. You know, how do you feel about the performance? Ah, uh, I feel good. Um, I came out here to be competitive and throw over the, the standard again. I uh, hit it twice today and had a series of 67 meter throws, so it was really good. All right, um, Olympic year, what's the mindset going into this season? It's to just be better, improve, um, be better than the best in the world, you know, because you don't know, say, Olympic year, everybody coming out. So right now, it's just to be consistent and to improve as the season goes along. The off and running now for the senior women's 200 meters B race. Waiting for them to come around the turn to tell you what we are seeing unfolding here. Look for me, Ricky and Russell. No, GC Fox the College who will take this one. Ricky and Russell, don't get up in the air. A flat time of 23.76. Ricky and Russell takes that one. And the race is off and running. Off and running, as Peter told you. They straighten up to come down the play. Look back. Peter Clayton. Silence now. That's Sade Williams of MVP who takes it. The flash time of 22.58, a positive 1.5. Wind reading. First 200 meters since 2021. What, what was the mindset going into this one? I was really, really nervous. Um, disclaimer: I have a really serious injury. I have a cracked heel, bone, bone bruise, and a bone spur. So to come out here and to run and to finish, um, really, really happy with the time as well. 23.91. I was expecting to run 25. But the girls in the races are really fast. They run with 22s and low 23 ladies. So I'm really pleased with myself today. Um, Olympic year, what's the mindset going into the season? To just um, be confident, be bold, and to just make sure that I'm in the top three at the national championship. Christoph, 2.20 this evening, how do you feel about the performance? No, not feeling so good, but I mean, based on the, based on the conditions, you know, we were supposed to jump at four and we ended up starting at six, but I just came out here to just, you know, get a shake out, really and truly. Um, it's still early season, looking to get in shape for, you know, overseas competition. Let's talk about that 2.25 that they already um, achieved this season, best jump since 2016, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Um, you know, it's, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, to actually do so early in the season. I mean, my first three meets, were, they just weren't good. Um, I just look back to the time where a doctor told me, you know, I would never be able to jump again, you know. I did this procedure, this surgery, that, this injection, all this stuff. But I'm um, just trying to stay grounded, grateful at the same time, and just keep working. So they're on their way for the eighth final. Lane four has a it could be Joe Levy who got the win, let us wait to see. Very close at the line. 11.57, 11.55 for Joe Levy. Positive 0.6 meters per second. Moody is second, 11.57. 
and James the third. Alexis, uh, first race of the season, you know, how, how did you feel about your performance today? Well, being the first race, I'm satisfied with the time that I got. However, in the last part of my race, I had some small discomfort, which allowed me to struggle to the finish of the race. Uh, what do you think about the the hundred meter hurdles in the women? You know the feel right now in today's you know Jamaica and you know space. Well, all I can say it's very very <laughs> quick, but <laughs> um, not really. I not really do know um, hurdles training at the moment because of the injuries I have, mm -hmm. but I'm prepping for it further down. So you'll see what happens. Time to time. What's life like at Michael and what's life like in racers? Well, at Michael, it's mostly like academics. I'm not really training there or anything, but at racers, training five times harder. No, I'm going to call it training rough. <laughs> but it's, it's good, it's good. Um, Olympic here. I mean, no pressure. I mean, you know, we're still fresh out of the juniors. You know, what's the mindset going into this season? Um, I can't really tell you what it is right now because I'm only working on getting healthy at the moment. So, anything happens, we'll see what happens. All right, all of it for the season. Yeah, thanks. Cool. All right, so, well, I'm going to see how much I today. I'm not going to talk about the time. I just want to see if you say, all right. Uh, I'm going to see, I don't know. I'm not going too bad. I'm not going too bad. Mm, yeah, but you yeah, kind of far from your TV. You know, it's far, far, far. I'm far. Don't, yeah. don't, 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 not pressure. That, that, that. First hundred of the season. How do you feel about your performance tonight? Firstly, I have to give God thanks that I'm able to perform so early in the season because usually I'm struggling with so much. So to be starting my season in March and to run my first hundred, I mean under 12 seconds, that's a plus for me because usually I start struggling. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mean. A lot of Jamaican fans are already putting you in the mix in this 100 meter um, hurdle space. I mean, there's a lot of top names and you're in that mix. What do you think about the feel right now? I mean, hurdles is always competitive. It's more competitive now. Um, once I'm able to line up, um, I put myself in a competitive mood, you know. We all start at zero and we're always going to push each other to go faster. And I mean, you can't predict hurdles. You just have to go out there on the day and give it your best. Health-wise, we know about the last injury and all. How do we feel right now? <sighs> I've been struggling with injury for almost a decade. I mean, every season I'm dealing with something new. That's why I'm so grateful to be able to start my season in March because I mean, usually it is a struggle, one after the other, and it's not like it's minor injuries, it's always something major. So, you know, every single time I'm able to show up at the line, that's why I'm able to, you know, show up at the trials, even if you don't see me competing throughout the years, because, you know, I've struggled so much with injuries, and I'm just always grateful to be starting with them. Olympic year, what's the mindset going into, the, into this season? I mean, last year I see what I've done coming off of Achilles surgery. I started training this time last year and I was able to get a PB. So I'm just, you know, hoping to God that he keeps me safe. And then, of course, I'm to surprise myself and see what I can do. Because the field's going to be competitive, so we're going to push each other. So hopefully another season best and to make my second Olympics. Lovely. All the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Alright, so Golson, 10 1 to open the season, first 100 of uh, the, the, the season. How do you feel about your performance tonight? Uh, I'm feeling really excited. I know the first time open with faster than 10 4. Mm -hmm. All the season I open with 10 4, 10 5, and I always get a PB at the end. So it's exciting to see that I open with a 10 1. So I'm looking forward to some pretty good times down the season. Yeah? Speaking of pretty good times, I mean, we already know you have the 9 4 on, on the bill. How fast do you think or you're thinking about running? <laughs> Really fast. really fast, yeah, really fast. Olympic year, what's the mindset going into this season? I'm ready. I'm ready. You know, I'm always trying to get a better start, so I'm working on that. As you see, today I got a really average start against the guys, so I'm really excited. So. 
All of the rest of the season, bro. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap here from the GC Foster Classics. It's been a solid day. We saw some PBs. We saw national records. Super, super excited. Some season best, some persons opening their season. We saw Yannick Thompson. We saw Alexis James, Kedron Golson, just to name a few. Listen, Jamaica track and field is in good hands. Looking forward to the greatest show at this side of the hemisphere. The East of Boys and Girls Champs. Boodoo Doop, it's the boy Jeff Jr. signing out for 876 Stream on track. Some people are racing, but they're not, they're not doing it good. 876 Stream.